Two most important things that you need to get into optometry school are a good GPA and a good OAT score. And the worst part about that is two of the things that you have a hard time changing are your GPA and your OAT score, especially if you're on the verge of applying right now. But how can you get into optometry school if you don't have a very good GPA? And in this video, I can share some last minute desperation tips that you can use to try to get into optometry school with a lower GPA. If you can get a good GPA in the first place, please, freshmen watching this, your GPA is important. Get a good GPA. Now, what is a low GPA? Well, a lot of optometry schools want at least something above a 3.0, but I've known people in my class who had less than a 3.0 in their undergrad. And so it's possible for you to get into optometry school with a lower GPA. And I know a lot of good doctors who have less than a 3.0 going into optometry school. So what can you do about it? The first and number one thing I want you to do is get a good OAT score to balance it out. The only thing that schools have to know how good of a student you are is your GPA and your OAT. And the most important one of the two, I'd say, is your OAT. Just because it's a recent number that you have right now about optometry content that they can see, okay, they know that. And so if you have a lower GPA, but I can balance it out with a high OAT, you're, you're good, you're all set. I know that even if you had like a 2.0 GPA, getting C's, scraping by, if you had an OAT score of like a 370, 380, that would completely balance it out and schools would be more than willing to consider you. And so you don't necessarily need to get that high of an OAT, but just make sure that your OAT score is significantly above average and it'll balance it out. The number two way to get into optometry school with a low GPA is to network with the schools. Now I know networking is kind of a weird word and it's super like businessy and I don't really like it, but basically what it is, is just be friends with the people on the admission committees of the schools that you're interested in. This is super underrated. I see almost nobody doing this and it should be one of the first things that you do. Get the emails of all of the people that you can contact at the schools you're interested in at all and spam them, not spam them, but make sure they know who you are. Ask them questions about your application, ask them questions about how the school is, show genuine interest. And then when the time comes that your application comes out of the woodwork and is sitting in front of them, they'll look at your name and say, oh, I know them. And that way, the first impression they have of you is not, oh, a low GPA? No, the first impression of you will be made much before. And so that's a really good hack to get into optometry school with a low GPA is to already be friends and be networking with the people who are on the admissions team of your school. Get those emails of admission counselors, they're out there. And getting those emails aren't as hard as you think. They're just one Google search away from knowing all of the faculty's email and all of the admission counselor's email at your school. Third advice I have for you is kind of short, and that is just to be okay with other schools. I know that if you want one of those super mega competitive schools, it's like your dream school, it might not be feasible with the GPA that you have. But if your ultimate goal is being an optometrist, there are 25 schools in the US and Canada that will get you there. And some of them don't have as many applicants and are therefore okay accepting people with a little bit low GPA. And so if you're open to other schools and programs, you're still going to be a doctor and you're still going to get into optometry school. All right, the number three thing is don't hide the fact that you have a low GPA. They see it, they're not blind to it, and the way you react to that information when it's brought up says the world about you. Now this is more of an interview situation, but they know what your GPA is, they know what your OAT is, they've read your application. And so if they ask, so how is your GPA, or can you explain this class, or this semester to me, do it and have a good answer and own it. Say, yeah, that was me my sophomore year. I did fail that class and have to retake it. You know, you just want to own it. And the more confidence you have in owning that GPA, the more confidence they will have in you that you are not that person anymore. That you're ready to take on optometry. 
Now the next advice is something that's actually pretty realistic and that is that they won't accept you on your first time around. So what you need to do is to be able to get in, you need to be open to negotiation. Every school that I know, if you contact them after applying and ask why you weren't given an interview or after interviewing why you weren't given a decision, they will tell you the parts of your application that concern them. Now, some negotiation might be easy, like they just want you to get a few more shadowing hours in or they want you to come shadow at their clinic, something like that. And some negotiations might be harder. Like they'll say, okay, I want you to retake the OAT and get this score. So what you need to do is be able to negotiate with them a little bit and then take your new resolve to get into optometry school into interviewing again or taking the OAT again and really knock their socks off with this second opportunity. Now the sixth and last thing that you can do to get into optometry school with a low GPA is get a better GPA. Now a lot of the times this might mean that you didn't succeed your first time around or you negotiated with them and they want you to retake a few classes maybe the summer before you enter up topics. Honestly, this is something that's pretty common. And so what you can do is either retake classes at a community college or retake the same classes to prove that you can get an A in them. Or a super underrated one is to enroll in a master's program that's just a year, maybe too long and prove that you can get a good GPA at an institution that's graduate level. You can even take it at the same institution that you're applying to. For example, at Midwestern University, there's a master's program in biomedical sciences that is a year long and gives you and has you take similar classes to your first year of optometry school and it'll really improve your GPA and have a graduate level GPA for them to look at. And so that's a super common route. People who are denied from Midwestern University and then go to their biomedical science master's program and then the next year apply to Midwestern University, a lot of the times they get in. And so that's what you can do to get into optometry school with a low GPA. I know that it can be super hard to get into optometry school and it's not going to be easy to achieve your dreams all the time. But it's always worth it to get where you want to go and I know from experience that optometry school has definitely been worth it. So if you want some help, you can reach out to me to coach people through my Patreon if you're interested in that. And if not, go ahead and like this video, comment down below if there's anything that you'd like my specific help with subscribe for future videos. See you in the next one.